What's up you guys? I'm gonna do a product review for one of these pulley systems. Uh, I'll talk about kind of what I like about it. After the video, you're gonna see me kind of unbox it. I'll look at the initial parts of it. You'll see a workout and you'll kind of see my final thoughts on that. I recently just got this cap squat rack. It's a very cheap squat rack. So I have a review for that and that should be posted before I do this one. Uh, but in the same workout, I'm gonna test out this. Also, uh, I'll get into the rationale why I actually got this pulley system in a second, but let's unbox it really quick. Okay, so you probably, you guys probably have seen these things, uh, just different ads of these pulleys. I've been seeing these for a while. There's tons of different pulleys that are out there. They're basically um, just ways you can attach an external weight to um, essentially do things like tricep extensions or any kind of pulling type exercises. Number of things you can do with it. My rationale for kind of holding out for a while is I didn't have plate loaded stuff. Uh, I think there's a couple of companies online and also on Amazon. I'll even kind of talk about some of those. This one I got was actually very inexpensive and very cheap. So that's kind of the motivation why I got that one. Um, also because it had the, the part I wanted. Now, if you actually look really closely at the pictures on Amazon, I almost think that these are all coming from the same drop shipping place in China in the same way that when I did the um, resistance band video about best resistance bands, I made a point about things saying, I just really found the one that gave the best discount, the best deal, and the best kind of packaging and stuff because y'all are essentially the same thing. And that's kind of like what these pulleys are. So the, ra the rationale why I picked this pulley out was because it didn't have that long stick that like you'll see in some of the pulley systems that you load plates. I don't have plates, so I'm looking for kind of cheap, inefficient ways to use the equipment that I have. Um, I also think this, this particular pulley is good because if you don't have a pair of a lot of weights, I think a good thing to do is get a pair of adjustable dumbbells, like the ones that I recommend again down below. I've recommended it many times on my channel because not only are they available, I think they're a really good price for when they are kind of in stock, they go in and out of stock, but they're a great price for just what you got. So with that being said, that's why I got this strap so I could wrap this around my power block and do the pulley. So you're seeing a little strap here, which I'm assuming this is the strap. I'll look into it in a little more detail later, but I'm guessing this is the strap that actually goes on to the actual dumbbells or whatever external weight you're gonna use. They got a, like a kind of one grip here, one kind of press down grip. Uh, here's the actual cable itself with the carabiner clips, which might as well open it really quick and see. Oops. Seem like they're fine, I'm dropping them everywhere. Seems like they're good quality. I don't know if it was this one or another one. People said that these carabiners were pretty cheap. These seem fine to me. Um, I can't see too much about the cable yet. I mean, yeah, the whole thing wasn't too, it was pretty inexpensive. So I'm not gonna do anything too crazy with it. So we'll see with that. Again, another kind of attachment. I'm guessing this is the attachment that actually goes on the, um, the top of the, in this case, my pull-up bar. And then let's see what this is. This might actually be, oh, this is just another kind of like, essentially it's a hard fabric, like tricep extension or some sort of multi-purpose, you know, press down material. It looks a lot like uh, seat belt material is what it really kind of looks like, which, you know, seat belts are strong. So I was gonna get some external stuff too. I was just kind of holding out to see how well I like this pulley system. Uh, and then if I do really like it, I might get some other attachments to go with it. But again, why I like this because it's one, of, it's one of the cheapest options. It goes well with dumbbells. You can put a lot of external weight and just wrap stuff around it. I'm sure you could get the stick. If you guys have plate loaded stuff, you get a stick and then get some additional thing like this to kind of wrap around it and secure some external weight. Uh, but I just thought something fun and interesting. It's again, it's very cheap and affordable. It goes with the stuff I already have. It doesn't take up a lot of space. So that's why I got this one. So you'll see it workout right now and I'll let you guys know kind of what I think about it in a second. All right, so you're watching a workout that I actually did the first day I got this squat rack was the first day I actually started using this thing. So I got both products in the same day and I can say I actually felt similar to both products right when I got them where I kind of looked at them, I saw them before. I didn't really know how much I'd really like them or appreciate them once I started using them. And just like the squat rack, this pulley system, I actually think is really awesome. It's perfect for somebody who, like I said, doesn't like everything that's checking all the cylinders or things I like. Doesn't take, doesn't cost a lot of money. It's utilizing and maximizing the efficiency of things you already have. In this case, a pair of adjustable dumbbells uh, and really just felt really good. I mean, the, the it actually felt super smooth, way more smooth than I thought it was going to feel. And if you see it kind of moving around a bit, there was a little learning curve. Like once you get hit with this thing once or twice, you're not going to get hit again. And you're, not, you're only seeing some of the exercises I did. Uh, but there's, there's a number of creative things I think I'll start implementing. But everything that I did just felt really good. 
Granted, I use that Weeder Ultimate Body Works and Total Gym, and I talk about that, and I'll keep using that in this channel a lot. It, this is just kind of a little different stimulus. It feels different when the weight's really loaded the way it is, and I can't really describe, it just, it just feels like a really smooth cable machine is how this thing really feels. And so it just felt good to kind of just play around with some different tension, different weight, uh, it, some different exercises even that I couldn't do on the Weeder Ultimate Body Works, which kind of mimics the kind of a pulley system. I loved this, uh, like this weighted crunch, for instance. This this feels exactly like how a normal weighted crunch would feel in the gym. This exercise felt awesome. All the exercises actually felt really good. And how I kind of used this workout was basically, it was really easy to interchange between the TRX and this thing. So I was doing a bunch of different things in this workout, not just the cable. I would just kind of move the cable over on the machine and then I just kind of give it some slack and you could just move the dumbbell over. It was very easy, easy to kind of interchange, you know, different equipment pieces. And what I did was just kind of leave it at 50 pounds. I rotated things a little bit, uh, but really I tried to stay at 50 pounds. I think it was, it's not a huge deal to kind of change the weight out, but it definitely takes some time. So I think what I'll be doing in the future is just kind of like just every workout, every other workout, just kind of messing with the, the general weight I'll leave on that. And that's kind of what I'll set. I'll just basically set a weight at that and just kind of use it as part of like the circuit. Uh, the strap that it came with wasn't that bad. I thought it was actually, a pretty good strap considering what it was. I actually wasn't using it the way it was supposed to be used, which is basically slipping the palms of your hands in that little hole, believe it or not. Uh, I don't know why I didn't think about that, but not a bad strap. I mean, certainly, you know, ropes might be good. If you already have a pair of ropes, it might not be worth it. Uh, but again, it just, out of the box, I think it's definitely useful. It's something I'll be messing around with for a long period of time. Uh, especially if you're somebody who, you know, is trying to, I'm not saying, I'm not anti free weights by any stretch of the means, but I know there's a lot of people on this channel that uh, just are trying to gravitate away, away from a little bit from some heavier weights that might be less forgiving on some of their joints. And I think some sort of pulley system like this, again, coupled with some sort of external load, which I didn't mention in the beginning of the video, you certainly could use something else. You don't have to use dumbbells. This thing can wrap around a heavy bag. So that's the other versatility of this. You could wrap around any kind of external load. So hopefully this video kind of showcases the product uh, and its uses a little bit. I think it's awesome. I think it's perfect for, again, especially if you got a squat rack. I'll link everything down below, and thanks for watching.